Hello YouTube, Nightcrawler here, back at you again for another video, and uh, so this one's gonna be pretty controversial. Okay, well, controversial in the sense of if I had an audience, and not just my two buddies, but the audience will come back on track. Now, if you aren't one of my friends who clicked this video, I bet you are very curious as to why a random dude on the internet is saying that hating on a man who is deserving of it is tiresome. Well, let me break it down to you as to why people leaving hate comments and making videos on this man is both tiresome and just as bad as the people who like him. Pete the words I speak. So, Mr. Boss for the win, or his new name, Mr. Boss Fuck the World, is arguably public enemy numero uno in the GTA community. Side note, I love GTA. Online is a fun experience when you're playing with friends and fucking around, but that's overshadowed by the absolute chaos it holds from tryhards, KB warriors, griefers, trolls who have no creativity or reason to trolls except for the XD lols, and of course, idiots asking for GTA 6 all the damn time. It has its good moments, sure, but fuck does this community have its fair share of bad apples. Back on topic. Boss Man is quite the fellow. From clickbait, misinformation, dragging on his videos, doxing. I mean, recently he's he made a video where Rockstar shut down the service for a while in response to the protest for George Floyd and he made a 10 minute video on that. Just, what the fuck. He is quite the bad guy. But do you want to know who else he is? A man who knows that being this much of an idiot, being this much of a dick, gives him attention. This dude is still kicking because of hate. Do you know how fucking crazy that is? All the people that hate him and wish him gone by doing these tiresome acts are the reason as to why he isn't, but still question why he's around. There are plenty, plenty of videos of people going full doom and ripping and tearing this man apart. Ranging from rants and griefing him during his live streams. Funny enough, some of these videos do better than the videos on his own channel, which are awful for a channel 2 million strong. But these videos, it's, it's like they feel him. It's, it's his high. Sure, he may get angry during the live streams of his cargo being destroyed and obliterated by the OC, but he knows that whatever video he puts out tomorrow, the views are gonna go up from people clicking just to leave a comment saying, have fun restocking your warehouse, bitch. That's the decision I made joining your session, or whatever they say. I am paraphrasing here because, you know, well, I don't click his fucking videos because I don't like him. Same with rant videos on him. Ranting on a man everyone already knows is a piece of shit. It's one of the biggest wastes of time I have ever witnessed. And then, if you have a fan base, they'll go and click on his videos, just comment and call him whatever clever nickname you created, adding more fuel to his tank. You know, deep down inside you, you could have wasted time doing something a lot more better. But no, you had to make a video about a man who is surviving purely because of the notoriety this community continues to give him. And yes, I know I'm guilty of that right now. It may or may not be bad because no one even watches this channel. But I offer a better solution. A solution in which may fail or succeed greatly. Alright, you ready? You ready for this? Are, are you ready? Simply forget about him. Huh? Hold up. What? Oh, he's smoking that prime green. Damn. Hold on. Hold on. I know. This sounds simple and hard to do. Really hard, and it sounds very dumb. But, peep the hypothesis on how this can work. Two paths. Number one. If you are a person who has done rants on him in the past, either leave a detailed comment on how you don't like him and disappear, and if you haven't, put all of your effort 
every single ounce of it into one single video that will get your anger out to where you see no point in thinking of his name. Path number two. If you are a person who goes the griefing route, grief him in whichever way you please until you're satisfied and well, simply leave the session and don't put any energy into trying to find him. Now, he shouldn't be completely forgotten about. He shouldn't. As if he thinks so, he's gonna go completely fucking wild and think he can get away with anything. And if he does that, come out of hiding and choose one of the two paths I listed. And when he quiets down, he'll realize that while he's forgotten about once again, you all will be there with glee to rip and tear until there's nothing left if you dare test his hand. But speaking of nothing left, I am finished with this TED talk of sorts and on this take I rated a solid hot. For getting a man like boss man seems tough and it seems like I'm defending him but no, seriously, fuck this guy. But, it's necessary if you really want him gone. I mean, the best way to defeat an attention seeker is not to give them attention. Cause I mean, who will he have to piss off and have videos be made about him if there's no one there? And if you enjoyed this video and agree that this boss fuck the world should just be forgotten about, swallowed by the sands of time, why don't you hit that subscribe button and consider staying for more videos like this. I'm Nightcrawler, peace out.